Many of us have spent nine days on the bus traveling to D.C. carrying the torch that started back in 1961. The right to vote is sacred, and it was something that my grandparents, my parents fought for. I mean, my mom was just realizing, like, when she graduated high school, she didn't have the right to vote. This isn't just my country. This isn't just your country. This is everybody's country. We should have the right to vote. I'm so honored to have been a part of this journey, to drive across the country for seven days, to make sure that the people here in Washington hear what we have to say. Black Voters Matter and Unite Here has been going all around this country spreading a message that we can't stop, we won't stop, that we who believe in freedom cannot rest and will not rest until it comes. What's happening is not right. I mean, because they're just trying to take away. And what do we do when they try to take away? We say, no way. Yo no quiero que lo que pasó en nuestro pasado en los 60 pase ahora, pero está pasando. I went to Arizona to fight to take back 2020. I also went to Atlanta, Georgia to take back the Senate. I'm doing this for my niece, nephew, my daughter, and everyone that comes after me. Yeah, being in, in this country as a student, and I fought to be a citizen. Then I have to fight for the Biden campaign, and I'm having to get the right to vote. I wouldn't let anything stay that for me. I joined the Freedom Right, and I joined my co-workers here because this is not new for me. I've been in Georgia, I've been in Nevada. Elected the right people for us is really important. Uh, we're here today to have a voice, to continue to have our fight in this voter suppression that is going on around the country. Working class folks' voices need to be counted, and a lot of our legislators in the Senate have been preventing us to do that. I'm here because I want my children, my grandsons, I want my family able to vote. We need to stick together and fight the racist laws that govern our country to try to ensure that black votes count. I am fighting because I am here today marching to tell Congress we are going to fight each day until we get what we want. Quiero dejarle un legado a mis hijos de que este país existe la democracia y de que nosotros estamos luchando para eso. My vote is my voice and I will not let that be taken away from me. I came on this trip because I wanted to learn more about what my grandma Vivian Rothstein did when she was part of the Freedom Summer campaign. If it wasn't for the Freedom Riders years ago, we wouldn't have been able to have the freedom to be able to vote. Um, so I want to keep the fight going, not just for my generation, but the generations behind me. So I'm here because I feel like I, I need a voice. Uh, vengo de Chicago, a Washington, al Freedom Ride, a la libertad que debemos tener. What they went through at that time to stop segregation and to get the voting rights was an eye opener. And to see that the government today wants to erode all that progress we have made is really sad. If we don't have democracy, what do we have? I'm doing for my friends, for my kids in the future. Everybody deserves to vote. You can't have power without showing love. And that is what Unite Here does. And that's why we got 1,500 people out here in Washington, D.C., because we know that if we want to see how ugly this world is, we need to play something beautiful in it. Black votes matter, black lives matter, but not only that, our brown votes matter and our brown lives matter. Stop legislation from taking away the freedom to vote. Freedom Riders, thank you.